Good evening. Good evening. Um, forgive me for not looking up because I want to read this thoroughly through. Good evening, Dr. Epps, senior members, Mr. Waterman, city officials, board members, co-workers, parents, and visitors. I will read a letter written along with accolades and awards and then speak on behalf of others as well as myself. It is my desire to remain on staff at the new Abraham Lincoln School Leadership Academy. I am enthusiastic about furthering the esteem and educational level of students in special education and general education. I have a good rapport with parents and pride myself on our joint venture of promoting their child in becoming a well-educated, prosperous citizen. Extra measures are taken to help students using differentiated learning techniques. I have been an active part of the Junior ROTC Learning Committee since coming to staff contributing ideas and strategies to staff members involved in motivating students to try before they refuse. It is my belief that students need teachers who will hold them to task, but be encouraging enough to be trusted as their teachers and mentors. I consider myself one of these innovative teachers. If I continue to make a comfortable, non-restricting learning environment, students will learn if they put their minds to it. Adhering to the Jersey City CCC standards and the technologies to be introduced will further my position in securing the best education the academy can foster for its students. The education, PA degree, media arts, certification, teacher of the handicap, master's degree in special education, awards, representing public school number eight, the eighth recipient of the annual Reverend Elijah Hendon Memorial Award, 2007. Certificate of Achievement, Honeywell Teacher of the 21st Century, Stevens Institute of Technology. Certificate of Completion, Summer Teacher Institute, Healthy Bodies, Healthy Bodies Three, 2007. Outstanding Community Service Award, for community friends involvement, Jersey City Medical Center. Letter of appreciation from the White House, Washington, D.C. Recipient of the Claremont Lafayette Presbyterian Church in Jersey City Public School in 2001. Community service, a $4,000 fundraiser for Snyder High School student, Juan Haynes, in 1987. This was when we first were at X2 apply if you want to stay at Lincoln. This is what happened after the proposal. <clears throat> I, in good faith, true to the outline of teachers in the Jersey City School District, could not submit these papers because of the disrespecting statements made in the proposal to secure monies for Lincoln High School. We are not inept in our duties as teachers and administrators under the environmental circumstances in which we teach. But when you, as the governing board, use tactics that are unbecoming to your position, what should we think? You could have asked us to take a serious part in putting this proposal together, but you didn't. However, you had no problem asking us to be thrown under the bus as professionals with credibility. I and my constituents have worked very hard for all that we've achieved. As I was Xeroxing my degrees, awards, and certificates, I just could not put them in under the outline you proposed as the way to stay at Lincoln High School. Inept, unable to teach those that need what we have to offer, that's not true. We, these teachers, we're sorry, you didn't ask us for more input as the $11 million would have meant so much more coming from a differently written outline. I hope, along with my colleagues, it can be rewritten with corrections so teachers such as myself and my colleagues will be glad to continue to put our expertise where it is most needed. There are many teachers with more accolades than I have achieved. Please don't forget, we are here to help support and change the educational outlook for all students in Jersey City. We just want to do it with our heads held high. 
Don't use disrespect to achieve mm. success for our children. Mm. In your quickly amendment when addendum item number 7.12, you say that junior ROTC students were going to be allowed to go to Fort Dix. Why wasn't the ROTC students from Lincoln High School mm. involved in that? If you're going to involve junior ROTC students from one school, involve them from all schools. Right. Thank you for your time. And thank you very much. Thank you.